Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Treater, the sci-fi survival game. And it's, uh, I don't think it's very new, but I did receive my copy for free. So we're going to go ahead and play it. Uh, okay, so we can change the, oh, oh, it's got a, well, that's a weird slider. Okay, well, this is not working that well, but that's fine. So we can change our nose size. Oh my God. Oh my God. Eyes 07, whatever that means. Oh my God, there's so many sliders. Uh, I don't what does that do? Nothing. Underbite. Sure. I mean, how, how weird can we make this guy look? Chin height. Why is there a full... Okay. This is... This is honestly awful. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Let's go back the other way. Uh, there we go. I, lo uh, I love this. This is great. Can we make his eyes really big for no reason? And we can. <laughs> okay, so this guy looks terrible. Um, Alright. Let's get some more underbite going on. Give him a bigger jaw. An even bigger chin. What if we give him a narrow chin? No, let's give him the big chin. Sure. Jaw height. Chin height. There we go. All right. What can we do here? Can we make? Can we make his? <laughs> All right. Uh, looks like the hair doesn't really matter. Sure. Whatever. Can't move to see it, so that's fine. Um, hair stubble, I guess. Skin color. Whatever. Sure. All right. Let's begin. Oh my god. Okay, so we're playing. So, there's a robot, I guess. Oh, we got a tutorial. Space is melee attack. Okay, shift, flashlight. Hopefully it's not batteries. Alright, and he's carrying a thing that says whether we're thirsty or not. Okay. Okay, so we're back, and let's try it again. With, uh, let's hopefully... Hopefully less lag. Okay. And... Hey, yeah, we're getting a bit less lag now. That's good. I don't know if that's useful. Oh. Infected flesh. Uh... Uh, okay. That... That seems fine. And now we've respawned into some area that I have no idea. What is that? I can't even remember what the... I can't remember what the... I can't remember what the controls were. Oh my god. Right. Well, I can't remember how to attack anything. Who's this guy? Can we talk to this guy? Right. We can't. Cool. Okay. Um, one of these buttons was attack. Okay, so all those things died after killing me. Let's go see what this guy has to say for himself. Alright. Was, but, dun, 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 melee attack is space. Okay. Got it. Oh, right, how do I? There we go. Space. That's, uh... Totally normal thing to be the attack button. Love it. Um, okay, well. Um, why are we building stuff? This is, this is terrible to look at. Uh, Jesus. What? What do we, why do we have all this stuff? What is this? I don't, I don't even know. Building some crates and stuff. Sure. Water ge generator, um, oh, okay, oh, here we go, well, okay, yeah, so we're doing really well here, we are, we are winning, this is how you play, alright, um, right, backward, uh, forward, okay. 
What is this? Choose a station. Sure. Uh, this one. I don't know how to make it... I don't know how to make it do the thing. What are we... So what are we doing? We're... Oh, we're going somewhere. We're on a subway going somewhere. We are on our way to somewhere. So that's fine. I don't know why we're doing this, but we are. We're going. Yay! And then we're going to get to here. This seems like a totally fun screen for us to watch. Great. Okay, so... We loaded. And now there's like... Some fiery thing. We still don't have a gun or anything. And there's no uh, explanation on how to get one. Okay, so that's where the bad things come from, I guess. Oh. Right. So that guy's there, I guess. And we don't have a gun, so I don't really see any reason to stay around and try and fight him. Because none of this is meaningful at all. Okay, let's go into this room. Right. Where is he? Is he coming? Can we shut him out? Can I shut the door? Yeah, can he... I wonder if he can come in. Or if I can just stay in here. Forever. Here he comes. Can he come through the door? He came right through the door. Cool. Hey, I hit him. And then I died. That makes sense. That totally makes sense. Um, I, I just don't see how I can, uh, how this game can get any better. Um, I, I, I am not having a good time. Uh, the game is bad, and there doesn't seem to be any sense to anything. Um, none of these are labeled, and what if I, what if I put walls in your way? Um, then you just walk through them. Okay. Alright. And then I just die anyway. Good stuff. Great stuff. Let's go look at the description. This game is trash. Alright. Uh, treater hardline of sci-fi survival on space station. Craft, research, explore, and fight against evolving mutants. Interesting open world and big sectors, sectors to explore... Um, manage the entire colony single-handed. Can you survive long enough to escape the horror? No, because, uh, basically, as soon as anything comes up on you, you die. And there's no, there's no, uh, gameplay method that I can see that will allow me to survive any of this. And then when you respawn, you respawn further away from where you were rather than just back at the start. So then I, there's not even any, uh, gain in me exploring. So... Basically, the building makes zero sense. Um, you know, like the, the, the actual crafting. No idea what the hell I'm supposed to be doing there because there's like literally no explanation of it. It's just, hey, you can craft stuff. Okay, do I need to get uh, stuff for that? Um, no idea. My guess is this guy has a gun because that looks like what the game is designed for. Yeah, see, he's got like a gun there. Yeah, so the game's designed for you to have a gun, but you don't start with one. Because why would you start for start with a gun in a game that's like a survival horror? You know? Um, or like punching it being like a survival crafty horror. Um, yeah, it's it's bad. There, that, there was that guy. So I faced off against that guy with no gun. There's no way that I should have gotten to that spot um, with no gun. You know? Um, without having a gun. And then like there's just no explanation on how to do anything. There, there's a tutorial on how to do WASD. Great. Just like every other game that exists for the PC, WASD is how you move. Thanks. That is so helpful. Telling us that space is how you do melee attack is not helpful. That's a terrible spot to have a melee attack on. Do you know what I mean? Like, left click should be melee attack. It should be your attack. Just saying. Um, so there's, there's a few things for you. It costs $13.49. It's in early access. And people are going to say, oh, it's in early access, so you should be nicer to it. No, I shouldn't. It's a full release on Steam in early access. The game is not in a playable state. No one would pick up this game and go, oh, man, I'm having such a good time. 
So any of your friends that have beta tested it are just being nice to you. The game is bad. Yeah? Yeah, it's got some interesting graphics, sort of. Um, the fact that the, the enemies, like, create themselves out of slime, that's kind of cool. But the rest of it just feels terrible. Every single aspect of the gameplay feels terrible. Your little tilted 3D maps and, um, and interfaces are terrible. They are not fun to access. They are not good. They don't feel good to use. You know what I mean? Just every single element of it just feels bad. Um, so let's see. Uh, I hope to get it in by the summer of 2020. More locations and content. And the price of the game will increase. Well, that's fine, I guess. Um, at least they're not trying to decrease it afterwards, but the game is just bad. Thirst, hunger, temperature, and immunity. Ooh. Fight against time with a simulation of the spread of infection throughout the colony. Enemies are evolving, so destroy them while they're at the, in an early stage. Mine rare ore or grow vegetables with a mine or hydroponic farm. Yeah, the game's just trying to do too many things. So that's one of the problems that we're running into here is that, like, if it's a small independent studio, don't try and do so many things, man. Just make a good, one good game. Um, so, oh, I have this game. I haven't covered it yet. Uh, that's a game that I got gifted as well, but I haven't played it. But it just looks like a survival horror. Oh, it's another open world survival horror. We've got Terror that came out in 2018. Red Number is another horror thing. Telekinetic horror. The Sunset 2096 is a uh, no it's it says it's action survival open world but all those screenshots are telling me yeah different so it looks like they've been trying to make the same game uh over and over and over again and uh haven't quite succeeded yet so i don't know i don't know what's going on um but i can tell you that uh starting a game like this with no weapons is dumb and then Having the enemies immediately seek you out is dumb. That's a cool looking boss. I would love to fight against that boss if the rest of the game felt like at all okay to play. Just saying. Um, so it's got one positive review. Loving this game. It's a bit Dead Space meets Subnautica in my mind. That is an awesome combination. You have to look for supp supplies and resources, build your base, and defeat uniquely grotesque and difficult enemies. Yeah, I mean... Okay, so saying that it's large is not necessarily a good thing. That means that there's huge sections of it that are hugely unpolished. Um, game feels like it should be a demo. Uh, yeah, honestly, couldn't su suggest. <laughs> so, a joke is it? Uh, is it's America, so do as you please. Just don't complain when you lose the money. Yeah, um, I would not buy this. I'm not recommending this game, obviously. I couldn't get anything going. I basically had zero fun playing the game. I just got killed by stuff that I had no way of defeating because I don't have a gun. No information on how to build a gun because your stupid menu, when you bring it up, doesn't even tell you what the things are that you're building. So, like, I can build stuff, but why? And for what? And to do what? Um, it doesn't look like this guy has a base. None of the, none of the screenshots or anything are showing base building. It's just a dude running around with a gun, which we don't get. So if it was a third-person survival horror crafty game, I could get that. But there doesn't seem to be any reason for the base building to be there. It just seems like a waste of time. So just make a third-person survival horror where you have to, like, live on your supplies and you get to start with a gun. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to leave it there. Um, I get frustrated at these kind of games because, like, I don't know. I feel like there's, you know, they've obviously done some work, but the game is just terrible. So, um, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Class dismissed.